My name is Gary Bredo, and I'm a documentary filmmaker and an entrepreneur. The economy is in less than perfect shape, and when the jobs go away, there's nothing left to do but get up and get creative. And there are people all over America doing just that. It's estimated that up to 85% of new businesses fail. So I'm going coast to coast to hear the personal stories of the people who beat the odds and started a successful business from the ground up. This is Startup. The entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. In Walsh College's business launch entrepreneurial community, consultants provide advice to aspiring business starters. More information available online. The Chevrolet Volt, an everyday electric car with gas for longer trips. The nature of things to come. Oh, Chevrolet, find new roads. American Express is proud to support startup and the millions of small businesses that put in the hard work to be open for business in neighborhoods across the country. I'm on 58th Street and 1st Avenue in New York City. Now I'm gonna go talk to Connie, who created Hot Girls Pearls. Well, after 12 years of hot flashes, Connie finally decided to take matters into her own hands. Let's go find out how she's helping women all over the world stay cool and look hot. According to US Census data, there are over 45 million women in the US who are either menopausal or postmenopausal. Additionally, there are an estimated 500,000 women who have experienced premature natural menopause. Constant search for a solution to cool her overheating body after a cancer scare and a bad reaction to a prescription drug. Her solution was to turn a necklace of ice cubes into a lovely strand of classic looking pearls. Hence, the creation of Hot Girls Pearls was born, providing menopausal and overheating women all over the world a unique treatment option for hot flashes. I want to know about you as a person. Tell me a story. Well, once upon a time, <laughs> I was one of those people growing up in the 60s that did not have a real plan for life. <laughs> you know, I just floated in and I had lots of jobs that sound glamorous. It sounded great on the outside, mm -hmm. but it s sucked. What sucked about well, it? Well, I was not a good employee, for one thing. <laughs> I can relate. Yeah, I wasn't good with taking orders, and I really thought corporate stuff was silly. I was, at 47 years old, put on a medication called tamoxifen, which is used for breast cancer patients. I was put on it as a preventative. And they put me on it, and I immediately turned into the towering inferno. And I can't constantly be a shut-in, living with my air conditioner blowing in my face all the time. Right. So I said, you know, I got to wear ice cubes around my neck. So I went down the street and I bought some. I bought some plastic ice cubes and some string yeah. and scotch tape. And I stuck it in the freezer and I tied it when it was done. And I said, you know, that feels pretty good, but <laughs> probably the, the look might not be there. Let's talk about the actual production. Part of it. Okay. Pearls themselves are made overseas. Okay. I tried to have them made over here. So I would try to contact companies and say, give me a chance with this. You know, let's keep Sorry. this here. Yes. Yeah. Didn't want to talk to me, didn't want to hear about it. You tried. Me. You know, that was your responsibility, I tried. right? So this guy who I worked with, the one who made the prototypes in this, mm -hmm. he has factories over in China that he works with, so he became Point man. How did this? How did this get to market? Um, you got the packaging. You have the manufacturing. So how do you sell them? There's this really cute girl on the Today Show who loves to introduce new products. Mm -hmm. So I just sent her an email. I got an email back from her assistant asking if I lived in the city and if I had samples. I said yes and yes. Mm -hmm. And. A couple of weeks later, there they were on the Today Show. I mean, we went from $400 in sales to $13,000 in sales in that one day. Then we did a gift show in New York, the first gift show we ever tried. And the first half hour that we were there, Adam Glassman, who's the creative director for Oprah's Magazine, came by and fell in love and said he was 
going to definitely get us on the O list. And so a few weeks later, I'm on a cruise with my mom and my sisters, and we're in St. Martin, and I'm having lunch with some friends who live down there in the winter. And a woman at the restaurant turns around and she says, are those hot girls pearls? What? Yeah, no kidding. And she said, well, I just saw Whoopi Goldberg wearing them on The View. Had no idea. And I was shaking like I was in St. Vitus dance. I was like, <laughs> it was fabulous and a nightmare because we had the O-list was out at the same time mm. as Whoopi on The View. It went insane. It's estimated that 2 million women in 2010 had undergone surgery or another medical procedure leading to menopause. Welcome to the Warehouse Fulfillment <laughs> Center. Excellent, this is gorgeous. Of the world headquarters of Hot Girls Pearls. <laughs> After okay. the orders are taken through the magic of the computer, mm -hmm. okay. then we move the data processor <laughs> to another spot because this is where the crew who handles fulfillment comes in. Oh, the fulfillment crew, okay. We have inventory control over here, and we okay. start doing the old line of setting up the boxes, yeah. putting in the tissue paper, because we like to send them out real nice-like. Mm -hmm. So you don't it's need a big hands -on. warehouse, a big factory, you don't need an office. Well, you know you what the it? advantage the is when you have your own control of things is that you know that it's, if, if it's gonna be done right because the people who actually care about it are putting it together. There's so many people out there that, that end up working jobs that they, you know, that they're not passionate about, doing things that they're yeah. not passionate about. That's sad. For a long time. Uh, what, do you, what do you say to those, those people that could possibly be in that situation right now? I say you absolutely owe it to yourself. In some way, at whatever level you can start something that's for your own, that you love, you've got to do it. Mm -hmm. This is your only life. This is the one time you're going around this way. Yeah. You have to do it. You have to. Otherwise, it'll eat you up inside. And hopefully you have people around you that can support you and help you and love you and, you know, give you a good hug and let you know it's going to work out. It'll be okay. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. For anybody, it doesn't matter who you are, what you have. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time. We really appreciate you telling us your story. Oh, I'm really glad I got to. So it really doesn't matter what stage of life you're in. If you have a really good idea, you should never put it on ice. Although Connie no longer has time to chill, she's created a business that has completely changed the course of her life. For more information, log on to our website and click the link for Hot Girls Pearls. Visit our website at startup-usa.com and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. What what uh what do you call organic food? What did they call organic food in 1950? No idea. Food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. American Express is proud to support Startup and the millions of small businesses that put in the hard work to be open for business in neighborhoods across the country. The Chevrolet Volt, an everyday electric car with gas for longer trips. The nature of things to come. Oh, Chevrolet, find new roads. The entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. In Walsh College's business launch entrepreneurial community, consultants provide advice to aspiring business starters. More information available online.